guys, it's Teresa of Larkin Design, and I'm here today with my Disney album, again, yay. Um, today, I'm actually continuing day two, which um, on that day we are in Legoland. And so last week I had shown you where I had done two layouts um, from Legoland already, and I'm using the Modern Edition Core Kit to document this day. And so today, I'm going to just finish up. There's one layout with photos, and there's another layout that I need to do um, with my Legoland mat. And so, um, for this one, I actually have the map that I brought back home. Um, and so, I'm probably going to chop it up and add it in here. Um, it won't be the whole thing, but I'm probably going to do something like that to put that in there. So um, that's my task list, task list for today. So I'm going to go ahead and get started, and um, I just have a couple of a couple few more photos from this day. Um, of course, the Star Wars portion of Legoland was one that we really enjoyed a lot. Um, and then a couple of other pictures from that park. Um, so I am still trying to keep it very simple. I'm just trying to plug through this portion of the album. Um, and also I wanted, to, I wanted to point out specifically how I had alternated um, from the design A to design D um, because there were a lot of pictures in this park that were vertical um, and so those are just back to back in there so let me grab my things here that I'm working with um, you'll remember this from last week I had pulled out some of my wood and cork pieces and glitter pieces and stars and hearts so um, anyway I'm going to start here with this um, title card and I think um, let's see what we want to do on this one um, cute little piece. Um, ooh, there's another one of these yellow hearts too. And then a couple more of those. Yeah, maybe just do that. Okay, um, so let me grab my glue. I'm just going to put that right there in the center. And then okay. We go. I'm just going to leave that there to dry for now. Also, my camera's acting up. Hold on. Okay. Um, I'm going to set this to the side to dry so I can get to these cards. Um, I really probably am just going to add a few things to this and add my journaling to this. Okay. 
at all. I feel like that yellow is kind of disappearing. Um, maybe it's stars because this the wood grain at least shows up against the black. Yeah, what if we do that? Okay. So I'm just going to add my stars here. And here. And here. Okay. And let that dry. Okay, um, I don't know if I want to add, maybe a couple of stars right there, yeah. Okay. And I wonder if I want to add maybe just one or two of those hearts to that card. Let me set these over here for a second. Okay, and with that, that side is pretty much done. Um, after those dry, I will put them in the pockets and I will show you those um, so you can see that. And then we'll move to the next side of the layout. 
Okay, so let me move this out of the way. And then I know I want to write a little bit of journaling here. Um, I do want to put a little something here somehow. I'm not sure. Um, let me see about because it. I wanted to do some of the black and white elements, um, but of course it needs some color. Two strip, two pattern strips across here.
just ran out of room there. I don't know. Here we go, and I'm not going to do a thing to that card. I kind of want to do a little something here. Um, I have another one of these little glitter words, and again, um, this one says, this one says, love you, and these are from older Gossamer Blue kits. Um, most of the things that are in my little it's a freaking party. iris case here. It's not a non-squid party. I looked at the map and I saw you. Um, came from Gossamer Blue. Yeah. There might be a few strays in there. Okay. I think that's it for that side. Okay, so um, before I move to the next side, I thought I would go ahead and get these put away so you could see how this layout turned out. And I hope that I hope that this gives you an idea of how you can minimize your embellishing to still add a little bit of something, but not a lot, and not overcomplicate these layouts. Just one or two things here and there. Um, really is enough. It really is okay um, to not add so many things to every pocket. Um, and I, none of these are, um, the photos are not embellished in any of these. Um, and like that's totally okay. Um, so just the last page real quick is going to be this map. And so what I'm going to have to do is just trim it down. Um, and which might be kind of tricky a little bit. I don't know if I'm going to do anything else to this map or not. I am just, honestly, I'm ready to get past this part of the park. <laughs> um, so I'm just trying to think, um, I'm going to have to use my large format trimmer. So I'm going to go do that and I'll be right back. Alright, so I went to cut these down into more um, manageable pieces in my smaller um, trimmer. And I made a big mistake and cut off too much so I have 11 inches tall instead of 12 inches tall on my map um yeah so I'm just sitting here trying to figure out um how I want to handle this what where I want to go from here um and I'm sort of debating um because the way I cut them was I cut the I cut the six inch strips first um, so that I knew what would be left over on this piece. Um, and then I cut the lengths and realized that I had been cutting three quarters off instead of half. Um, another dumb Teresa moment. Um, <laughs> so anyway, I'm just sitting here thinking about um, if I want to maybe just do a border all the way around with just plain white cardstock. Um, and I think, I think I have, I know I have that piece right here. I might have another piece. Yeah, I do. I've got these two pieces. Um, I might use the back sides of them. And then, that way, they at least have a border um, to, solid, to, 
to bring it all together. So I think that's what I'm going to do here. Um, and so, um, note to self. This is why it's a good idea to copy your map and work with copies instead of the originals, um, but it's okay. I'm, I'm really not going to stress over it because nobody ever has to know that that was cut short. I mean, you can tell that some of it is cut off, but oh well. This is... Um, <laughs> Not for a magazine, this is just our memories. So, and, and I think it's important not to beat ourselves up when we make these really dumb mistakes like this. You know, we just keep going. So, um, that is that side. Here's where it's going to be, let me think about this, four, so three and a half. I'm going to cut it three and a half, four, and then that should leave, no, it leaves four. Shoot. Yeah, somewhere I'm losing my mind here. This is hilarious, you guys. Um, all right. <laughs> so what I think... I'm sorry y'all are having to watch all this. This is painful to try to figure out. I think that what I'm going to... For some reason I thought I had trimmed off an inch. Let me grab my ruler. Okay, it was right underneath my workshop here. Okay, so I thought I had trimmed off an inch extra but it's a half an, and half a half inch extra so what I have is 11 and a half but I think I am gonna make it 11 or is it okay just to have white al along the bottom and the side that's the other option maybe I'll just do that since there's no border here. Yeah. Okay. We'll get this. We'll get this figured out.
This is part of the challenge of working with maps. So I totally get it. I totally get it. Why a lot of people don't like to deal with them. Because it is hard to know. Like, what am I going to do with this? How do I deal with it not being as the same size as the page protector? You do what I do, trial and error, right? Okay. in place. Okay, that looks good. And it's probably a good idea to back these matte pieces with the um, with the cardstock. That probably is actually a very good idea. Okay, so now we're going to do that again. I'm going to start with four inches at the top. Four inches in the center. And that one is left. And then this one gets Turned in half because it's the middle. Okay. I'm not going to do the same little twine journey through the park on this one. I, that was fun to do on one. Um, and it was fairly easy to reconstruct how we went through Magic Kingdom. I have no way of reconstructing how we went through Legoland. Um, so... I am definitely not going to do it on this layout. Good lord, that's a loud car. Okay. Sorry about that. Um, there. That's the next segment of the map. And so let's put that in place. Okay. In fact, I think I would highly recommend if you don't print out your maps onto cardstock, mount them on cardstock before you put them in the pockets. Um, just to help them be a little bit more stable. And, you know, these maps are not, I don't know why this is fighting me to go in there. These maps, of course, are not um, acid-free, land-free, so you don't want to put photos in this layout. You can. You can put photos in this layout, right? Just know that they're not acid-free, land-free, yada, yada, yada. Okay. Um... And then the next one.
These are the basil, um, I think they're a corduroy texture. So they, uh, they offer a nice um, lime texture there. Okay. So we're just going to trim this up really quick. inches from the top. Down a little bit. Okay. Four inches again. And then the bottom and this one is cut in half. And then grab this. Whoa! That's not how that's supposed to work. Okay. There. That there must be, is this taller than four? It is, okay. I think I left a little bit longer on when I cut that um, marketing strip off. There we go. That's better. Okay, and then. I hear these two pieces. I think after doing all this, it would have been easier to have printed off this little map. Just in case you were wondering, <laughs> would I rather do it this way or would I rather deal with a scanned and printed map? I would rather deal with a scanned and printed map. That's okay. I still think this is going to look pretty cool. And regardless, I'll be glad that I have it. I'm glad I have it in the album. I'm glad I took the time to do it. Now that there will be one benefit, and that is that this leftover piece here, it will, it will, um, let me put this there. This leftover piece will be able to have the, um, this edge left on it. Um, the, it will be a little bit awkward here because this will be a small piece. So I'm going to have to watch out for that when I trim it. Um, and so let me show you that. First piece, I'm going to cut four inches because that's that piece. The second piece, I'm going to cut four inches. I'm going to hold on to that, and then this piece is left at three and a half. And then I'm going to make sure that I cut three inches on this side. Um, so let me get that straight here. Okay. And that's these two pieces. Okay. Let me glue these down real quick. Okay. 
Okay. There's that little piece, and then this little piece is going to go on this side. There we go, okay, and then these pieces have to be lined up on this side as well. And that piece is, because it's so wrinkled from, this, this map got rained on, it got dragged, oh man, it was, that was something. When it started raining that day, we were at this park. We were at the furthest point away from the parking lot that you could be. Oh no, that's folded over. Seriously, the furthest point away that you could be from the cars and from the parking lot and from the exit. And we had to run in the pouring rain all the way back through the park and we left that park looking like drowned rats. I kid you not. And of course where this park is in Orlando is like the middle of nowhere. And there was only like one restaurant that we could stop to go to the restroom. And we walked in that restaurant looking like, looking like we had gone through the flood or something. It was hilarious. I probably should type that story up and add it in here somewhere. Um, I'm not sure. It's a great story now. It's a great story to tell you. Um, but, whew, that was something. Okay. So now I'm ready to put this into the page protectors as well. supposed to go. Yes. I think this needs a little trim. And if you ask me, Teresa, where how do you make the decision of where to trim when you need to trim for a smaller pocket? I don't know. I don't have a rhyme or reason for that. Um I really just pretend I didn't just do that. <laughs> so, there you go. Um, when you cut maps up like this in a page protector, they never fully, they, they never completely line up. And um, the page protector itself hides some of that just because there's a visual gap in between there. So I rely on that visual gap a lot to cover up a lot of these little sins. Okay, and this little card needs a little trim as well. Now, I'm, st I'm starting to think about whether I want to do something with this white space that's along the edges, these two edges. And really, to be honest with you, I'm just done. <laughs> I'm done with this day on the trip. Um, there we go. Okay, so there's the map, put in the pockets, this sort of flopping out here, alright, that's the map, um, and that's day two, and 
like, I don't know, maybe I could add, if, well, you don't have to add anything. It'd be okay just the way it is. Um, I'm thinking maybe um, I have this. Maybe just that. Maybe just that on top of the page protector. And then be done. I, I feel done. I'm sure you can tell I'm done. My enthusiasm has waned for this portion of the project. I'm just ready to move on. I'm ready to get back into the Disney portion. I know you are too. Like, so. This is, um, tricky. Here we go. Okay. all that needs. Okay. So that's it, you guys. Thanks again for watching and for following along. Um, I'll be back next week and we'll pick back up at Disney. And um, be sure to like and comment and subscribe. So I'll see you next week. Thanks again for watching. Bye-bye.